Hey y'all, I just wanted to pop on here really quickly in my messy studio and say happy 420. I feel a particular connection to this specific 420 because it is a palindrome for 2024. So of course I have to share with you some special 420 music so enjoy this concert for a little more than half an hour. Here we go. Happy 420, y'all. Live from Golden Drops Cafe, where I am every Saturday, 3 to 5, but not next Saturday. And any Saturday that I have a gig. Lots of love to y'all. Be safe out there and give yourselves a hug. Never cease to rise. Don't you want a car that runs on canvas? Don't you want a car that runs on canvas? Don't you want a car that runs on canvas? It's an emergency, y'all.
Focus on 
drilling into the ground is killing our roots. All the farmers in Iraq might be digging up food. But instead, they're drilling for oil. Is it the government tool? Are they being rude? What was that? Well, we can easily be a hero. Dearborn, Michigan. Wow. And he fueled 40,000 vehicles a year from it. So that was four vehicles an acre. That is very interesting. And so what I was saying that I didn't say this time over there, as soon as you were like, I couldn't hear you, I was saying we all have cars that can potentially run on 100% hemp ethanol if we change, if it was built after 85 and it's a certain engine and, and all we got to do is change the piston speed, then we can run E85. Otherwise, it might ruin our engine. Well, better than fossil fuel. Although it might take up a lot of arable land, the way ethanol from corn does. Yeah, it's growing so much better. It actually feeds the soil. You don't need the pesticides and the GMO that that corn uses. You know, corn is so hard to grow, and that's why they subsidize it because every single kernel needs to be fertilized, and that's why they have to do the wind. Well, I think the indigenous cultures. Oh. Yes. Well, they didn't have to have so much of it. Now, hemp, you know, the thing about making gasoline is what I call it, is, you know, you can still use other things from the plant after you make the gasoline. You can turn it into other things as well. Well, that's very interesting. I want to look it up. I didn't know that before. He did some good things. Well, they hid that information as part of the whole, you know, um, yeah, as part of the whole, you know, schmear campaign, smear campaign. I'm saying schmear because of my, you know, bagels and cream cheese, but <laughs> butter on matzah. Yeah, well, thank you. That's interesting information. Yeah, yeah, I think there was something in your heart that was like, I want to know what she's saying, but I can't hear her. Okay, so fun fact, you probably know this. Um, if I tell you this, you'll know what song, maybe. This was the most popular song, actually, during the Third Reich rule. Uh, when Hitler found out that a Jewish person wrote it, he actually made the song illegal in Germany, but it was one of the only songs in the whole entire world that hit number one in several countries. It's Yiddish. So it has a little bit of a German influence, which is why he didn't know it first. It's, it's been done in Klezmer style. So we're gonna do it. Tell you how great. 
Time. Improv time. Thank you. 
Colorado in July. I'll see the sky. I'll see the sand. And let's go to Colorado in July. So, I'm gonna go to Colorado in July. Be safe, y'all. <laughs>